A deck that was a bit surprising to see at Pro Tour Murders at Karlov Manor takes a lot of inspiration from a modern deck. That fast, aggressive deck that wants to attack people with blazing speed and zap them out of the game before they can even set up a board. That's right, a longtime staple of all formats, let's talk about Ben Stark's Boros Burn deck. Burn decks have been a part of all sorts of metagames across all different formats for an extremely long period of Magic's history. Looking to walk the line between being aggressive early creatures and cheap effective burn spells where the deck gets its name from, the deck is normally mono red, but it has some splashing white, and in Pioneer, that's for two big cards. One already existed in Boros Charm, but the other one that was recently printed is Lightning Helix. Oh, it's Lightning Helix! Oh my god! With Helix recently being reprinted into Pioneer, the original Red Deck Wins archetype has fully embraced its Boros flavor with the ability to sideboard in cards like Get Lost to get around some of the threats that made the Red version stumble a bit. However, the core of the deck is still a classic burn strategy. Your creature package has arguably the best two prowess creatures in Monastery Swissbeer and Soul Scar Mage. The Red Wizard helping you out significantly by lowering the power and toughness of opposing speed bumps for you to attack through. Along for the ride is Bone Crusher Giant, which doubles as a burn spell itself, and Eidolon of the Great Revel to really punish the current decks in Pioneer. Just take a look at the top cards on MTV Goldfish. Every single one of them triggers Eidolon's ability, and that doesn't even account for the decks like Amalia and Heroic, where most of the deck itself just ends up shocking them in order to play. Kumano faces Kakazan is here to provide another piece of chip damage while growing our Swiss spears in two different ways. The handy flip sides exile effect means that we can shut off those pesky dies triggers from our opposing creatures. The burn spell package includes four copies of Play With Fire, Lightning Helix, Boros Charm, and skewer the critics. Play with Fire's scry ability, if we hit our opponent's face, makes it the best shock variant that we can play in Pioneer, while the remaining cards are the best in slot versions for the three or four direct damage entirely. Light up the stage is our card velocity engine, allowing us to dig under extra lands to find our final damage spells. Although speaking of lands, our land base even helps us get damage in by running four copies of Den of the Bugbear and four Ramanup Ruins to push through those last little bits of damage. Sideboarding gives us options such as Get Lost for big blockers or planeswalkers, and a slew of extra ways to hurt our opponents just for playing the game. Searing Blood comes in when the opponent has creatures that can be used to cast Lightning Bolt on their face, while End the Festivities clears the Convoke player's tokens completely. Rampaging Ferocidon not only shuts off Amalia combo by stopping their life gain, but it punishes creature decks entirely by pinging them for wanting to play blockers. How dare they. Rolling Vortex not only helps push some damage and prevent life gain effects, but it also punishes mechanics like the Discover cards and things like Torrential Gear Hulk. Lauren of the Third Path is an inclusion to hit problematic artifacts and enchantments for our deck like Temporary Lockdown, but it also gives us the ability to draw cards to finish a game. Even if our opponent gets one as well, we're hoping ours can just end it right then and there. It's in a burn deck's nature to want to be fast, but that doesn't mean that it can't play a longer game. Although you're going to struggle against mid-range decks like Rakdos Vampires that will grind you down, don't think that you need to deal 20 damage to the face of every single opponent just as fast as you can, and make sure to take advantage of what your opponent's decks are doing with cards like Ferocidon, Vortex, and Eidolon. So everybody, what's your opinion on Burn? Do you like that the deck did well, or are you hoping that the metagame can douse it out before you get scorched? Let me know in the comments below, and make sure to tap that subscribe button for more deck techs, metagame analysis, and just in general magic content. See you later.